Hello family, God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Listen, I want to just release this word of encouragement to somebody. This word is prophetic. It's a right now word as well for somebody that may have completely, um, like to, to you unknowingly, you have gone out of the will of God and the Lord is saying for you to return. God wants you to remain where he placed you initially. Sometimes it can be circumstances. Sometimes it can just be you know your uh, challenges your uh, situation that caused you to move yourself from a from a particular place a city a relationship or something whatever it is or even a job where the lord placed you the lord is speaking to you right now because this word came to me today right the lord is saying to you return he's saying to you return even right now father god help me to release this word in the way that it will be a blessing unto who needs to hear it right now oh god and cause them to make the right turn oh god back to you in jesus mighty holy name i've got a few scriptures i want to read please heed this word if you know this word is for you as i as i uh, continue to minister it will resonate with your spirit if, if it's for you and you need to ask the lord for direction ask him for guidance even right now to know exactly what to do in this time in jesus mighty holy name what the enemy wants the most is to distract you in this hour where god is trying to do something in your life the enemy is trying to distract you by taking you out of where god has placed you god wants you to remain where he placed you so that he can bring onto you what he promised you but if you uh, come out of his will and you are not aligned with his word and his will for your life that gi gives gi give, gives the enemy more room and more opportunity and chance to even attack you why because you are out of the will of god when you are in the will of god you are on under the protection of god you are under the protection of god under the covering of god so the lord is saying to you return my child re torn hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah in joel chapter 2 verse 12 to 17 it simply says even now declares the lord the lord god is speaking jesus is speaking he says return to me hallelujah he's saying return to me with all of your heart come back to me you have gone astray you have gone out to being with somebody else that i do not want you to be with you have gone out to a new job where i never place you you've gone into a completely new city where i never sent you to go may god give you wisdom to descend in this hour what the enemy is trying to do is take you out of the will of god but the lord is saying return hallelujah he says return to me wait upon me fast he says weep and mourn hallelujah rain your heart and sorry yeah rent rent your heart and not your garment return to the lord your god for he is gracious and compassionate amen slow to anger and abounding in love and he relents from sending calamity whatever wherever it is that you have you know gone to gone on to doing and you've left the lord gone out of his will god is waiting for you to come back the lord is waiting for you to come back child of god so come back to the lord return back onto your first love even right now in jesus mighty holy name jeremiah chapter 4 verse 1 to 2 says if you israel will return then return to me return to me return unto me so that all that i have prepared for you can be given unto you come back amen says the lord declares the lord it says if you put your detestable idols out of my sight and no longer go astray and if in and if in a truthful just and righteous way you swear as surely as the lord leaves then the nations will invoke blessings by him and in him return if you remain outside of the will of god the blessings of the Lord cannot locate you. It will look for a season like, oh, some good things are happening. But no, you're not going to have your peace when you're out of the will of God. You're not going to have your blessings. Amen. So the Lord wants you to return back to him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to also read Philippians 4, sorry, um, Philippians 3, 13, which simply just says, Brothers, brothers and our sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken a hold of it. But one thing I do, it says, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. God wants you to look towards what he has for you. The destiny, the future, the purpose, the calling, everything, the kingdom marriage. God doesn't want you to keep looking backwards or keep going backwards to the city that he took you out of, to the relationship that he took you out of, to everything that he took you away from he did it for a reason okay so if you're going through suffering trials and tribulations right now whatever it is go through because god is trying to cause, cause you to cross over 
into a better land, into your promise. He doesn't want you to be distracted by the enemy, you know, trying to divert you. When the enemy sees, sees where there's progress and sees where the Lord is moving, he, he comes in and begins to deceive you and distract you that this isn't God because it's not pleasant because you're going through challenges. No, but God placed you there for a reason and allowing your suffering to uh, strengthen you, to change you, to transform you. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. So don't keep looking back. Don't keep wondering, oh, uh, you know, if I was in this thing, you know, that, that I was before, maybe maybe things would be better. No, God, God brought you out of so many things for a reason. Praise the Lord. He brought you out of Egypt for a reason. So return to the Lord. Don't be like the Israelites that when they were on their way to the promised land, they kept on, you know, saying, oh, you know, we're suffering here in the wilderness, this and that and that, you know, maybe we should go back to Egypt and be under our slave masters and so on and so forth. No, don't be like that. God is saying return. Keep your, keep your eyes on me. Keep focus on what is ahead of you because I'm taking you somewhere. So stay with me. Stay in my will. My will is good. My will is perfect for you. Hallelujah, praise, uh, praise God. Our last scripture says, John, John 15, 7, it says, If you remain in me and my word remain in you, that's if you stay in my will, if you stay under me, amen? It says, and my word remain in you, if you follow me. It says, ask, ask whatever you wish and I will do it. It will be done unto you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord for your child of God. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for your word. I'm praying right now, wh whoever this word is for, Lord, grant them grace and strength, Lord, to take a U-turn, to come back to you, to return, Lord. Speak to them, guide them, Lord, Holy Spirit, Lord. Minister unto them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that the enemy will not take over them, that the enemy will not distract them, Lord. Cause them to come back to their senses even right now. Lead them, Lord. Let it be clarity of mind. No more confusion in Jesus' mighty holy name. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, what the enemy has planned for you in this season is completely scattered in Jesus' mighty name. Get back to the Lord, return to him, remain in his will, and he will bless you in Jesus' mighty holy name. God bless you, child of God. I love you all so much. Remain encouraged in the Lord, and I'll see you all in the next one. Shalom and blessings.